Welcome to another manager's field trip. Today we've got a real treat, and I mean treat. We're going to take a look at Popcraft, their owner, how they started, and we'll talk to B Bee of Bee's Treats. Let's go in and say hi to Donna. Hi, Donna. Greetings. Good to see you, longtime vendor at the farmer's market. Yes. Give me a hug. <laughs> wow, there we go. So it's been a bunch of years. You've been at the market. You know Brenda does the pops there for you. But it's been a long road. You've started out really small, and it seems like uh, things are growing. So let's take a look around and uh, see how a pop's made and talk about pop craft. Looks like a lot of flavors here, Donna. Usually about 40 or 50 at any given time in the case. Mm -hmm. Now I'm looking at, is that the grape one? Is that a newer one that I? It is. We just started making the grape. It's kind of a classic flavor. It's been very popular. Everything's handcrafted. Mm -hmm. um, we do either icy flavors or creamy flavors. Your icy flavors are all the ones in the front of the case today, and those are gonna be your healthier choice. They're going to average under 100 calories each. They're made with whole fruits, so you get pulp. They're not just juice pops. Um, a lot of people opt for those, um, if, and they're very, I think they're more refreshing. Yeah, I see the ones in the back are the dairy ones. They're dairy-based. They are going to be more like an ice cream experience. They're more rich and decadent. They're fun. I like that too. <laughs> I do too once in a while. Flavors, but what actually inspires you to uh, make these different flavors? Well, a lot of times it has to do with what I might be able to find that's new or what happens to be fresh and wonderful. We try to deal with a lot of local produce, so whatever is seasonal. Like coming up now is the fall, so we're going to be doing and being inspired by a lot of citrus. Um, things like blood orange lemongrass. That's a very popular flavor come fall. Um, in the summertime, it's maybe watermelon. Blueberry lemon basil is one of my classic flavors. That was one of the first flavors I created almost eight years ago now. And that's one of our very popular flavors. The sweetness of the basil and the blueberries and a punch of lemon, it's, it's a great flavor. Sounds excellent. Let's take a look out back and see how they're made. Okay. Go ahead. I'll show you where all the magic starts. Show me where the magic <laughs> is. This is incredible. This is uh, quite an operation. It really, you know what, it's compact, but we've got everything we need here. This side of the room is my production where I make all my batters. We call that bat all batters. Batters? I batters. like that. <laughs> so it's depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes mm -hmm. some of the things are cooked. This is where the grape is starting. I'm yeah. going to be cooking grape. I have bumbleberry brewing on the top of the stove here. So everything is created on this side. Then we have the... So your batter has to be heated, like you heat up... You Not everything. A Not lot everything. of it is just, a couple of them do, like the grape is cooked, the bumbleberry is cooked, but the strawberry one is is not. The blueberry, lemon basil is not. It just depends. How about the orange ones? Those? No, those are all yeah. raw fruits. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on how I've created the recipe and how it's produced. Mm -hmm. This is a stainless steel mold. These molds are made in Brazil. They're all handcrafted. They're made in Brazil. In Brazil. Wow. That's sort of where all. They the probably had them at the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure they did. Let me do a little stirring. Okay. Wow, I like a little hands-on on a field trip. Oh, I agree. Wow, look at that. That so you you and can you uh, smell how wonderful I it can smells? smell that. Yeah. So you would now what's you would in heat there? that up. Yep, heat it up. And there's a lot of things that go into that particular pop. We have strawberry, blueberry, rhubarb, green apple. All of that gets cooked down, and I add other things to it. Juice. I do add a little juice to it. We do we do not use any water in any of our popsicles. So That's there's great. no water. A lot of people make popsicles and they start with sugar water. No mm -hmm. water in our popsicles. It's all Good. fruit. And now we're headed to the machine that freezes this. Let's go. Now this machine is filled with a liquid called glycol. Wow, the and freezing machine. Mm -hmm, it's an amazing little process. It has a copper coil on the bottom that gyrates when I turn this on. And you can see the glycol is being circulated. And I'm going to go That's ahead That's like a popsicle jacuzzi. You know what? That is. It's true. So I will put both molds in here. The second one will go in. Lid goes on. Timer goes on in 15 minutes. Magic happens. They'll be frozen? They'll be solid, rock solid. Hard. That's crazy. They come out, and this is what they look like when they come out of the machine. 
Whoa, that's like a miracle. Doesn't that look nice? Aren't they beautiful? They are beautiful. Okay, here's our bagging machine. It takes two people. Uh, Marcy is taking the pops because they've been released from the extractor. And now they're being laid on the conveyor belt, which is wrapping them in the packaging material, sealing it, and cutting them. Let me do one. Good job, Phil. Look at that. Oh, got to put pop craft up. What? That's all right. That's okay. Oh, I see. You didn't yeah. tell me that far. That's oh, all right. Oh, so that's pretty good. So if you miss one, you can go to the next one. Oh, I, I love the pop craft, pop craft on the stick. <laughs> but, uh, that was pretty interesting how pops are made, Donna. Uh, and I want to thank you, but I want to talk about uh, the distribution uh, at the farmer's market. Yes. You know, Brenda, who's been there a bunch of years, does a great job. She's been doing uh, She's part of the market stuff. family. Yep. So. Well, Brenda's been on board almost since I started the business. Mm -hmm. So she does all of, she's my local distributor, and she does a lot of events. She does the farmer's market. She yeah. has a great little, she has a cart, and she has a beautiful truck. She does a great job. She does a fantastic job. We're going to go out and see if, you know, she might be outside in that truck. We might Let's go out go and check, check it out. out. <laughs> Let's go check it out. From the market, represents Popcraft. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Great vendor at the market, representing Popcraft. I love How did you market. get started with Popcraft? We just looked around inside. Well, I bought the truck um, about six years ago, and I was looking for a healthy choice. And I was looking all over the state for a cool treat, and right here in Sarasota. You don't have to. You didn't have to go very far. I know. I found Donna, and yeah. not only is it a healthy choice, but it's local. Yeah. And she resources local. So you know, I talked win. to her inside. A lot of kids, a lot of mothers like their kids to have those because they're healthy. And the kids love them too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, of course, you got Barbara, your partner that helps you out quite a bit. That's right. She's Gotta down get there. Her in there working too. Yeah. So, uh, so it's been pretty good. It's been good having you at the market. Thanks, Phil. You know, you're uh, you're part of the market family, and you're on our board of directors. I enjoy being at the market, and I just appreciate being able to be there. Well, it's good to have you there. Thanks. Uh, did I? Is Donna calling you? You know, she was looking for me earlier. I think Donna wants you inside. All right. I'll be right back. I'll be back. Oh, really? I love these. I love all the ice cream, too. I'm out of here. Oh, thank you! Hey, Phil! Where are you going? Oh my God! Look at him go! What can I say? Bye, Phil!